Hello, hello, and welcome to Lit Film Fest Classrooms. Pull up a chair. Come on, come in. We'll make. We're going. I'm going to teach you how to make a feature-length film together. Oh, not too close. Oh, back a bit. This week we are looking at flashbacks, where we explain part of the story that's been a bit of a mystery up until this point. So if you're not sure what we're doing, check out the playlist below, and you suddenly will by the power of looking at old videos. By the power of looking at old videos. Now, in yesterday's lesson, you should have written up your flashback explaining exactly what happened in three paragraphs. Today we're going to be editing it, and I'm going to give you another nice new sentence for you to hang up on your wall. Sing it. Thank you. That was beautiful. So this today is with an action, comma, more action sentence. With a sly smile, comma. Jimenez turns his back on Clegg with a weary wave, comma, by her walks off into the distance. With a huge leap, comma, Solomon pounces on Louis like a wild cat. And this is really nice because it, this will be very useful for explaining actions and also you, you pair actions together. It just makes it a bit more interesting, really. Often the first part of the sentence, the with an action, is a small action. So you can see a sly smile, and then the big action, the more action, is Gymnast turning his back on Clegg. With a weary wave, by her walks off into the distance. So it'd be weary wave, big action. See? Small action, big action. Small action, big action. With an action, more action. See? Makes perfect sense. Explaining hurriedly, Tim sat down in front of the camera again. Oh, sorry, the third example is not that. With a huge leap, Solomon pounces on Louis like a wild cat. Also, what tense is this written in? Because that's quite an important point. If you are changing tense, if you're using just this example, you might have changed tense in the story, which is very confusing for the story, because you need to explain when it's happening. Which tense is this? Is it present? or past tense, what do you think? Huh? 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 It's present tense. With a sly smile, Jimenez turns his back on Clegg. If you wanted to make that past tense, what would you change? With a sly smile, Jimenez turned his back on Clegg. With a weary wave by her walked off into the distance. With a huge leap, Solomon pounced on Louis like a wildcat. All you need to do there is to change your verbs to make to give them an ed. If they don't sound right, they might need something else, and you might need to just ask someone, oh, what is the past tense of that? Can you think of any past tenses that don't have ed in them? Interesting query. As a really important piece of advice, try and make sure that your writing is all in the same tense as well. If you've all written in past tense, that's absolutely fine. Just keep writing in that past tense. Just like if you've all written it in the present tense, this is what is happening right now. Keep writing in that tense. And the with an action, more action sentence that I've put on the board is in the present tense. And that's really important to be thinking about in the brain. So get a pen and paper ready. Get a pen and... Get a pen and club card ready. And no, don't get a club card, get some paper ready. Uh, I've got receipts. Receipt for Top Man. Oh. What's that for? Jeans. I'm going to put some images on the board and I would like you to come up with a with an action, comma, more action sentence for each of these. I'll give you 30 seconds on each one of these tricksy sentences. This is why you need your pen and your paper, and your, or your receipt or your club card ready to write on. Okay, you ready? 30 seconds on each. Off we go.
Okay, how was that? Did you come up with some good ones? You did? You didn't? Great, pick the answer you want. Right, on to editing our work then. So look back at your three paragraphs. Now, you might want some of your paragraphs just to be a little bit longer. You might have just written those short, those short sentences in yesterday's lesson, and that might be okay. But sometimes you just need to explain what's going on a bit more. So go back over your paragraphs, think, do I need to add any extra information? Now's the time to maybe write a little bit more about it, explain exactly who is in your flashback, or take out their names early on in paragraph one, if you want them to remain a bit of a mystery. Also, we'd like you to add a with an action, more than action sentence in one of your paragraphs today. But also, I'll put at the end of the video all the other sentence types that we mentioned in yesterday's video as well. So you've got those to go over and maybe think, hmm, maybe I could use an if and then sentence. If then sentence, eh? Hmm. And look all clever. Hey, hey, queen, I can use if then sentences. Okay, so with your new sentences and with that thinking about tenses as well, I really want you to think about getting the tense right in your story because it's really important to keep your your story the same. You might need, you might want to just look over your last few scripts and pieces of writing that you've done and just think, well, what, how have I written them? How am I writing this one today? Is it in, all in the same tense? Is it all past tense or is it all present tense? It's absolutely fine. It's in, if it's an either, just be consistent. You want to be consistent. You don't want to be absolutely crazy all the time. Sometimes it's weird. And then finally, you know this. You can use our symbols just on the board there. Ask, ask a friend or family member or, or your dog, if, you, if they can read and write, to write a little heart next to what they like. A, a green plus to tell me more, maybe something that isn't explained quite enough, but they want a little bit more of that. And a question mark next to, I don't get this, what does that mean? I'm not sure. And finally, of course, send in your work to us, info at litfilmfest.com, on email, at litfilmfest on Twitter, and and Lid Film Fest classrooms on the old Facebook. Need some ideas? Check this out. And check out what someone else has done. I love this, that you've actually used our slides and put your own work on it. Really imaginative. Let's pick what you think here. Suddenly we realised it was getting dark and the rain was coming in. We had to find shelter and fast. But we were really disappointed to find nothing at all to help us on this adventure. To find the lost city of gold. The old man had led us further away from our destination than we were supposed to be. These old men, eh? My thoughts were, he was a key piece of our puzzle. Maybe his house has a tunnel to the beginning of the maze, to the lost city of God. What a cool idea, I like that twist. We all had different ideas about how important the old man was in our quest. Mm, watch out for these old men. They're always hiding lost cities of gold in my opinion. And from our session with Helen Peters, we asked you to write letters to each other. I love that this letter is to your friend Max here. I write to you because I want to know how you're getting on. Of course you do. My dad has set up our pool and we may go in every day in our spare time. I can see you've been making lots of Lego models as well. This is a really personal letter, but I love that you've shared it with us. We absolutely love seeing it. So thank you so much for sharing that. Daniel, thank you for sending this diary entry and absolutely love that you have, but it's a diary entry from a mouse, a computer mouse. <laughs> I'm a mouse, <laughs> a very special mouse. People use me every day, so I started to write this diary. I have a great family that helped me do my job. They're the computer and the cable. What a bizarre family, <laughs> Daniel the mouse, you have. We all have, we all come in different shapes and sizes. We all live on a very big desk. It's made of wood and it's very comfy. <laughs> Fantastic, just skip ahead to the end there, Daniel. Helping the people to do what they need is one thing, but letting them see their friends and family is what we feel really special about. We all like it when people are happy and are in a good mood, just like we are. Day one finished. That's me. <laughs> That's quite good. Actually quite a heartfelt at the end, Daniel. I enjoyed that. Okay, we've got Alfie's disgusting writing as well. And I say disgusting because he's writing about something disgusting. His handwriting's quite good. He's uh, t he's writing about um, penguin poo. So so thanks thanks for Alfie. Yeah yeah, really really appreciate it. Yeah, it was pretty gross. Piers piped up that he thought it was penguin poop, and Ash agreed. Before they knew it, Holly was cleaning her skis with an ice block. Lovely. Thanks for that, Alfie. Really appreciate. 
Next, it's Freddy's disgusting writing. Again, not because it's disgusting, but because she's writing about disgusting stuff. Also about poo. As the team were looking at the animals, a flock of scarlet macaws bombarded Gwen with poo. It oozed down her face, dripping off her chin and splattering her dress. <laughs> I'm not sure what's worse, Alfie and Freya, macaw poo or penguin poop. You're going to have to debate that in your house, please. And finally, thanks for sending this in. This is so well put together. It looks very professional. Day one. Today we sent drones all over the world to find to find a willing home. I felt anxious because I might be seen setting 500,000 drones for the for the price of um, a lot of grand of money. <laughs> Day two, we celebrated because we found a new home. It was very small compared to the other homes or islands. It was next to Europe, my favourite continent. Wow, well thanks for sending this in. I'm really impressed that you managed to type this up and make it look so professional. Really good start to your diary, thanks. If you do send any of your work into us, we would love to celebrate it on the 15th of June at Lit Film Fest's Homeschooling Showcase. Well, we are going to be ringing some of you up, having good chats about what you've done and also showing your work and to celebrate it in a celebration showcase where we shout out about you and all the goodness that we've done. It's going to be epic. So thanks for joining us all today. Miss you all. Good to see you. Okay, off you, off you pop. Thank you. Leave me to... Just going to write my diary. Go on. Off you go. Off you go. See you later. I'm done now.
still here? Hmm? You got nothing better to do? Hmm? Hmm? Come on. 